Well, this is another canning fact video, a frequently asked question video, where I try to give you the factual information about canning, some of the dangers and some of the safety mechanisms and other information pertaining to canning, be it water bath canning or pressure canning. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit more about pressure canning. So what's the difference between a pressure cooker and a pressure canner? Can you use a pressure cooker to safely can meat, fish, and low acid vegetables? Well, let's look into that subject in more detail. So you see in front of me, I have my beloved All-American canner pressure canner and over here I have my instant pot which is a multi cooker and a pressure cooker so these two are not the same but you know these look a little different um, this one doesn't have like a gauge on it right but there are pressure cookers that look very similar to pressure canners so you have to be careful I mean Presto makes both pressure canners and pressure cookers. Look at this one. If you looked at it quick, you'd think it is a pressure canner. But no, Presto says it's a pressure cooker. I believe in using the right tool for the job. And do you know the difference between a cooker and a canner? And now there's a newer unit out there that touts itself as being a multi-cooker canner. So let's discuss it. Hi, I'm Prepper Potpourri and I love to can, be it water bath canning or pressure canning. And I love to share my successes and failures with you and help you become more educated about the canning process and how to do safe canning. So if you're interested in receiving more videos like this, just click on that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're always notified of a future video. This is part of the Canning Facts series, Frequently Asked Questions. So a pressure cooker, what is it designed for? Well, the primary purpose is to cook your dinner faster or to make rice. You know, I use it a lot. Um, it is a rice cooker, as making stew, uh, cooking roasts. It's great, it saves me time, but I don't can in it. And one of the reasons for that is the National Food Preservation Center says, mm -mm, no, no, do not can in a Instant Pot or multi cooker. And what are the reasons why? Well, size matters in this case and all the electric multi cookers are smaller. They aren't, they don't have the capacity that a canner does. In fact, the National Food Preservation Center says that you shouldn't use any pressure canner that can't at least hold four quarts upright with the lids on and get the top lid on. If not, don't can in them. And the reason why is because they have tested all their recipes rigorously for canners that can meet that requirement or exceed that requirement. Now let's look at this for four quarts. And here's the All-American canner. Yes, you can easily do four quarts and three more. So here's the Instant Pot. You can see here's one quart jar. There's no way, you see, it's way over. So there's no way it would fit in your standard Instant Pot multi-cooker, nor in your Instant Pot Mac. They also often in the multi-cooker compared to a canner, use less metal, have less thicker walls. I mean, look at the difference between these two. Another thing is the heat up time and the cool down time might be different in your multi-cooker because it's smaller. So the recipe was not designed for this. It was designed more for this. And if it ends up that you are under processing something because of the smaller size, then your botulism spores 
might be able to survive and you could give your family a foodborne illness that can even be lethal. Now, if you want to know more about botulism, I have a video on that. Click up there or I have a link below this video. Botulism is not a laughing matter. And the required temperature to process foods in a canner is to maintain 240 degrees Fahrenheit or higher through the entire processing time. You know, if it says it takes 90 minutes to process that cord, it must be at 240 degrees Fahrenheit or higher through that entire time. They're saying there's no way to adequately determine this. Is it the right time or not when you use the multi-cooker? Now, when I say you can't use like an Instant Pot or a multi-cooker for canning, well, you can for water bath canning, of course. You can use just about any pot for water bath canning as long as you can completely immerse your jars in water in that pot. So sure, you could use it for water bath canning, but you know, the pot's so small, you wouldn't be able to can much. So basically, the National Food Preservation Center says no to electric multi-cookers, no matter what the kind. They didn't design the recipes for it, and they haven't tested them in a multi-cooker. But to confuse things a little, Instapot came out maybe about a year and a half ago with the Instant Pot Max, which they bill is a multi-cooker backslash canner. They are saying that you can precious can not precious, that you can pressure can in the Instant Pot Max. Well, National Food Preservation Center says no, 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 but I did watch a video by Rose Red Homestead, and she did some testing. Um, you know, I don't know if the equipment she used and the method she used would be uh, as scientific as what the National Food Preservation Center would use and as rigorous but she thought it maintained its temperature through the entire process. So I have a link to her video down below if you want to watch it. Her conclusion was it worked just fine for canning her pints of potatoes. So maybe it does work, but there's a bigger problem with it. And that is capacity. That Instant Pot Max only holds four pints. That's right, four pints. And it costs $150. Presto can, that costs the same amount, $150 on Amazon, and it can hold 20 pints or seven quarts. And I don't know about you, but usually any recipe I'm canning makes more than four pints. It makes double or triple that. So, the time would be doubled or tripled by using an Instant Pot Max to fully can up a recipe as compared to using your pressure canner. So to me, just for that reason, it's not worth it. It's just too small of capacity. Bottom line, why not use what we know works? There's no difference in price between the Instant Pot Max and the actual presto cooker. There is a difference between the all-American cooker. And you can still have a great multi-cooker instant pot for, gee, at this time of the year, you see them on sale for $60. So have your multi-cooker for the purpose it's designed for and have your pressure canner for the purpose it was designed for. Home canning is a great way to fill your shelves with meals in a jar and you know exactly the ingredients that went into it. There are no artificial preservatives or additives. It is a great way to feed your family. But I urge you always to do it safely. So you may want to watch the canning fact at the end of this video for more information. Do any of you out there use an Instant Pot Max? Are you happy with it? Comment below. As always, Happy canning. And remember, always share the knowledge. Thank you.